Romans chapter 13, verse 11. And that knowing the time that now it is high time to awake out of sleep. For now is our salvation nearer than we believed. Barakatha Yahweh, Barakatha Yahweh Shah, 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 Bahasham Rakakwadash. Double honor to our apostles and elders, Great Millstone. Peace and blessing to the elect of Israel. Shalom. Once again, call Halayim Alahayanawa Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah Bahasham Rakakudash, which is all praises to our power Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah Bahasham Rakakudash in the name of the Holy Spirit. Detroit Lions. Required to wear microchipped wristbands. Detroit Lions required to wear microchipped wristbands. So they can know if they're in so called contact with someone that has coronavirus. Or possibly has coronavirus. This is all an agenda through the spirit of Yahweh Bashim Yahushai. The Lord has been using us to tell you people for years that this is coming. I don't want to hear that shit, man. You talking about a damn conspiracy theory? I'm going to look at you like you damn crazy. You don't know what you're talking about. You will sell out and you don't got it, man. This is real. It's in your face. And when I saw this on the news in the different media outlets, I praise the Lord, man. And the Lord's name is Yahweh, and his son's name is Yahweh Shai. I said all praises to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. This made me have a good day when I saw this because this is prophecy coming to pass. Very soon, the mark of the beast will be implemented. You think this is a joke? You think this is just for uh for show? All right? Or maybe this is a fashion statement. Wearing a damn microchipped wristband. You people, you going to learn, man. All right? The Lord's word is not a joke, man. Now, I'm showing this on the Google search engine because you can see that it's from multiple sources okay all reputable sources you see and I'm gonna read them I have about four pages up yeah four pages Let's get into it, man. All right. This is on DetroitNews.com. Okay. Yeah, I was attempting to X that out, but it's all good. Here we go. Yeah, that's Satan, man. Covering up the title. There we go. DetroitNews.com Lions' preparation for a camp and pandemic includes education, technology, robust testing. The focal point is technology. What kind of technology? RFID chip technology. This is put up by Justin Rogers. Once again, the Detroit News. At 4.14 p.m. And that number stands out to us, man. You know, when we see 4.14, a lot of brothers, man, we think of 144. Because, see, only the elect are going to understand this information. Okay? <coughs> so, uh, 4.14 p.m. 
Eastern Daytime, July 29th, 2020. And we're in August now. As you already know, time is going quick. It's time to wake out of sleep, man. All right? We almost up out of here. Let's run through this article. Okay, I really just want to hit the main point. All right? And I believe we can do it in a good amount of time. If I got to jump down, I will. Because once again, I have four articles. All right, so let's read this. For more than half hour, Wednesday morning, Detroit Lions general manager Bob Quinn laid out in impressive detail the team's preparations for players returning to the facility for the start of training camp during the ongoing pandemic. During the past three months, the Lions have been making adjustments around the facility, starting with the formation of an internal committee in May. From the medical side, the team's infectious response team is led by Matt Barnes, an assistant athletic trainer who also works for the Henry Ford Health System. Look at this devil, man. He looks like he wants that uh, team chipped. Look at his eyes, man. Hey, and the scriptures say, how are the things that Esau searched out? This microchip implant, which, you know, this is in a, a, uh, a wristband, but very soon they're going to want to put it in people, as they're already doing. But this is just a trial run right here with these wristbands. That's one of the things of Esau. It's searched out just by you looking it up. Simple research, okay? I tell you what, man, for process of time, let's just uh, get to the point, okay? We're going to get to the point. That's what it's all about. All right, bear with me. Here we go right here. Additionally, the league is utilizing technology to help with contact tracing. And they have the same technology in your cell phones. Whether Android or iPhone, you got it within your phone. Check your settings. During the call, Quinn showed his wristband. One of three options team personnel will have the option of wearing. The microchipped devices will track proximity and the duration of close contact between people wearing the sensors, alerting individuals both visually and audibly in real time while logging the data for team and league use. The contact tracing also will be utilized by the league to determine which players will need to be quarantined in the case of a positive virus test. There you have it, man. It's real, okay? Let's X that out. Next article. Now, this is on Spot On florida.com this was put up august 5th which today is august 5th okay august 5th 2020 all right this is under jacksonville all right for jacksonville florida detroit lions players are required to wear microchips to track who's around them. Last Wednesday, Bob Quinn, Detroit Lions manager, held a virtual press conference where he took some time to talk about the measures the team has put in place to prevent the spread of COVID-19. As part of his measures to fight the virus, Lions will require the players and staff to wear. So no one is exempt. Once again, a reputable website. Look at the related news stories. You know, dealing with other teams, okay? Other NFL teams. So, it's real, man. Very real. Next article. It's all saying the same thing, but I'm getting it anyway. 
All right, another article from Florida, the FloridaStar.com. Yeah, I hate that that's covering it up. Let me do this. There we go. Detroit Lions players are required to wear microchips to track who's around them. It's basically going to say the same thing. All right. Yeah. Okay, let me read this part here. As part of its measures to fight the virus, Lions will require the players and staff to wear microchip devices such as uh, sweatbands and wristbands to track what people they've been in contact with within the building. The devices will blink and give audio alerts in case they get too close to people outside designated tiers. Yeah, man. Yep. So there you have it. Okay. We can X that out. Last article. Detroit Sports Nation. DetroitSportsNation.com. <laughs> Giving the fans a voice. They want you chip too. If you're a Detroit Lions fan, they want your ass chipped as well. Just like the players, just like the staff. All right? Which right now is wristbands, but very soon it's going to be them damn implants. Esau, he does everything in trial stages. He tests it out, and then he brings the real thing. Okay? Detroit Lions to require players to wear microchips to track who they are around Saying the same thing, all right? It was put up July 29th, 2020, which brothers have already done videos on this, man. Look at this devil. All right? Hey, man. The elite are moving quick, which this guy right here, he's not one of the elite. But in order for him to keep his status and keep that money, he has to be down with the program. If not, he's going to be replaced with someone who will. Okay? Shit is very real, man. I don't even got to read this because at this point I've been repeating myself. You see that it's real. I tell you what, though. I'm going to read this by Justin Rogers. Which is basically saying the same thing. All right. Players and staff will be wearing microchip devices. And this is a tweet that he put up. Sweatbands, wristbands that will track which people you are contact or are in contact with which people you are in contact with in the building devices blink and give audio alerts if you get too close to people outside designated tiers yeah so that's it now it says in addition quinn noted that the lions have also installed a new air filtration system and will be requiring players to order food Via an app from the cafeteria. Via an app from the cafeteria. So, you know, they're moving towards this new world order, man. You know, and everything's going to be interconnected. You know? You know, whether using microchips, whether using apps, you know, from your phone, different things from the internet. You know? Yeah, man, so... There you have it. Lord willing, this is edifying. I'm going to close out with the main scripture that's dealing with this topic, which we all know. Revelation chapter 13, verse 16. And he calls of all, both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond, to receive a mark in their right hand or in their foreheads, and that no man or woman might buy or sell, save he that had the mark or the name of the beast or the number of his name. So yeah, they're ordering food via an app. Well, guess what? In the future, they're going to order that food, but they're going to need that chip. Okay? Now, whether you're ordering food through an app or whatever, you're going through a drive through you're going to need that microchip, man. Okay? This thing is very real, and we're in a time when this prophecy is speaking. Lord willing, you edified. Once again, call Halayim Allah Hayyanawa, Yahweh Bahashim, Yahweh Shah. 
by Hashem Rakakwadash, double honor to our apostles and elders Great Millstone, who still rule well. Peace and bless to the hopeful elect. Shalom.